Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to mess around with Google Docs to create a spreadsheet that I can share with other people um, as collaborators. So I'm logged into a Google account, and this is uh, my account, and I've already linked it up with Google Drive, the Google Drive service. So basically that's the service where you can actually, uh, even if you don't have the web open, you don't have a browser open, you can save files to your Google Drive. It's kind of like Microsoft SkyDrive or uh, the iCloud and stuff like that. So it's a hot thing. It's web-based storage. But um, basically, I've got this web-based suite of software. And if I click on, I'm logged into docs.google.com, which is now drive.google.com. You can still use both. And if I click Create, we've got Documents, which I've which I demonstrate in other videos. We've got presentations, which I just made a, a video on. I'm going to check out spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a Google Doc spreadsheet. And it looks like I need to sign in, so I will do that. There we go. So you are in what looks very similar to an Excel spreadsheet. And if you're an Excel person, you will find that you can do pretty much everything. Not, you know, if you're doing some high end fancy stuff with Excel, you'll be a little dismayed. But remember, this is a completely web based spreadsheet tool. You can certainly do a lot that you would need to. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. I'll dismiss that error message. So I've got my spreadsheet, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to go through all the features with it, you know, because there's plenty of stuff you can do with Excel. I just want to make sure that you're aware that it's very, very similar in structure. So basically, got our cells. We've got our, inner, our, our cell addresses or reference points. You can do a lot of the same kind of formulas. Pretty easy tool or pretty easy interface to work with. And I use a Google Docs spreadsheet, for instance, for my personal finances and things like that, because it makes it easy for me to access it from different computers. And also came and kind of gave me a reason to force myself to learn the uh, Google Docs spreadsheet as well. But let's go ahead and just plug in some data here. Um, I'll go ahead and put in uh, product, and then we'll have our regions. North, South, East, West. By the way, I'm just typing this and pressing Tab to move one cell to the right, exactly how I would do it if I was working in Microsoft Excel. And I'll put in uh, shirts, shoes, and hats. OK, so now I want to put in some numbers here just to play around with this. And I'm going to try something I might use in Excel equals Rand, and I'm starting to type out the name of a function that I already know. And sure enough, there's the Rand function, which we use in Excel. Not so I don't use it so much, but it's available in Excel. And there's the Rand between, one I'm very fond of using in Excel. So I can choose the Rand between function, which requires the bottom range and a top range. So let's try that out. I'll put in uh, 100, 999. Gives me a random number, and I'm going to fill this down. And I'm going to fill this to the right so far, just the way I would do it if I was in Excel. And then down here, I can put things like, and I'll put total and average. I'll select these cells, and I will change the alignment over to the right. Looks good. Equals sum. I'll sum a range of cells. Equals average. I'll average a range of cells, select these, fill to the right, just using the fill handle. So far, just like I would do with this in Excel, so that's pretty slick. So clearly you can aggregate uh, columns of numbers, no problem there. I've got a sheet tab down here at the bottom. You probably just you hear at the bottom of the recording screen. Let me scroll this up so you can see what I'm looking at here. So there's my uh, sheet one reference. I could, of course, rename this sheet to uh, um, sum an average. All right, I'm going to try a new sheet. Okay, so I'll just click my little plus to add a new worksheet. And let's try something we do a lot in class. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do a payment calculation. Let me rename this to uh, PMT. And let's put in uh, car price, down payment, borrow, number of months. Interest rate, I spelled that wrong. Oh, it looks like it corrected it for me. That's nice. Kind of. Let's see. 
By the way, I just did a double click on the cell to go into edit mode. That's pretty normal. Interest rate and monthly payment. Car price equals price minus down payment is our loan amount that we borrow, number of months. I'll put in 24 months. Interest rate, 3.9%. Let's try this out. Equals PMT. Same kind of parameters that um, Excel would ask us for. Gives us a nice little description over here to the, to the right. So let me go ahead and plug some of these in. My interest rate divided by 12, comma. The number of months, comma. I'm going to do a negative version of the amount that I borrow. Close the parentheses. I'm going to skip that last parameter. And I get my monthly payment to be 867 bucks. And if I was doing this for 36 months instead of 24, lowers my monthly payment. Fantastic. All right, let me go ahead and click File. And I'm going to rename my file here. And this is going to be my example spreadsheet. Let me check the sharing capabilities. Okay, so I'm in my um, in my spreadsheet here. Now in my PowerPoint video that I just made a little bit earlier, there was a share button over here in the top right. I was making that PowerPoint in a different Google account which has not been updated to the latest version. So they've kind of moved the share operation. And now I'm in this other Google account. Let me uh, drag this back down. So I still want to be able to share this with collaborators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File. There's a Share option. Pretty similar. There's me. I'm the owner. I'm going to add another person. And I can't see everything because I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my school account. And I'll click Share and Save. Yep, so now that person can edit it. I've got choices. I can make them the owner or they could just view it, but I'll keep it as edit. I'll go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, and I'm done. I can get out of there. So now I can close this spreadsheet and I'm going to exit out or log out of this account. So I will sign out. And now I want to sign into Google Docs under a different account. So I'm going to sign in. So I'm now in a different account. This is the older one. It's got my COCC logo up there. And there's my example spreadsheet that's been shared with me. You can see that Ralph Phillips was the owner. I'm going to click on that. And now I can work with that spreadsheet. I can change numbers around. Notice he's got re-randomized. I still have that ran between function in there. It's fine. And I can head over to the payment worksheet. And I can change some things here. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. Oops. And I can change that price from 28,000 to 22,000. And that, of course, everything is updated. So now you can create a spreadsheet and work with other people on maintaining that spreadsheet just by sharing it with them. Like we did with PowerPoint, like you can with Word documents. Of course, you can also just put this out on the web. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. I'll click File. They have a Publish to the Web option, just like we saw with PowerPoint, just like we've seen with Word documents. However, you get a few different choices when you're putting a spreadsheet out on the web. You can choose to put in all sheets or specific sheets. And when you start publishing, it's going to give you a web address where the, you can then refer people over. So if I just want to put up my payment calculator, um, automatically republish when changes are made. I think that's a great feature. I'm going to keep that. And I'll just hit Start Publishing. And uh, there's the web address for it. So I can click on this, select that web address, close it, close this. I'll even close that and I'll just paste it right up here. There we go. And this is how my spreadsheet would look online. And uh, let's see, I don't think we'll have editing capabilities. Let's try it. 30? Nope, can't really change it. They can just view it. But if you needed to give someone an example of a spreadsheet out there, it might be a good way to go. So uh, yeah, I guess we could create something fun with uh, JavaScript if we wanted to have an editable 
uh, payment calculator. So that's making a spreadsheet, sharing it with collaborators. So have fun with that.